the new immigration uh, laws coming in in April mean that already uh, companies are withdrawing uh, offers of employment. They're withdrawing adverts uh, for staff. Um, and uh, it, it would also see uh, staff, sta staff who are employed in the UK being charged fees for uh, access to the NHS. So many, di many different fees will come in for foreign staff who are employed in the UK from April and, uh, and also for renewing visas of existing employees um, from April. So a number of employees presumably are already trying to renew their visas in advance of that deadline. Um, and so once again, the Home Office is stretched to capacity uh, because it can't do its own job anyway, and now it's trying to do extra jobs which the government has imposed on it to try to give the impression that it's um, sorting out its uh, the, the problems that it's created by not negotiating a reasonable Brexit. Now, of course, the Home Office or the government will not admit that all this is all this goes back to the mess that it made over Brexit under Theresa May or under Boris Johnson. Uh, they will talk about, um, I mean, net zero or stopping the boats or whatever slogan they want to come up with to account for the fact that uh, they're making the Home Office, which can't function anyway, do even more work. Um, but, I, of course, lawyers are raking it in. Um, the, the the plan is to cut inward migration by 300,000 a year ahead of the next election. And what has happened, not surprisingly, is there is a log jam of applications um, to, uh, to, to get into the fast-tracking process. There's a last-minute rush to get these things um, in place. And uh, the Home Office says... You know, all applications for certificates of sponsorship which meet government requirements are fulfilled within our published service timelines. So, in other words, everything is going to be delayed. And then when something is delayed, the government or the Home Office will demand more money. It's, in, it's inevitable. Um, and uh, in the lower paid thresholds, the pay rise is going to rise uh, significantly. But in the higher paid thresholds, uh, professions, uh, it's going to, the, the salary threshold is going to rise even more sharply. Um, it's, uh, uh, at, at the moment, um, employ, employers must match the going rate uh, if it's higher than £26,000, I, I, I think, um, and the Home Office now plans to bring in salaries um, to deter employers from over-relying on migration but the point is that there isn't the uh there isn't the staff there isn't the local indigenous staff available to do these jobs for the most part if there were then people would be doing those jobs wouldn't they wouldn't they i mean you know it stands to reason uh, one of the reasons we don't have enough teachers in schools is because there aren't enough teachers available it's not because the teachers are indolent or, or, or that there are foreign teachers taking over the jobs that British teachers, national teachers, could be doing. There aren't the national teachers. Now, there are various reasons for that. Number one is that teaching is such a miserable operation at the moment because so much has been taken over by bureaucracy, which is pointless. Box ticking rather than doing the job. The same thing is true of the NHS. The same thing is true of the police force. The same thing is true of so many industries around the country. And Brexit, rather than cutting back on bureaucracy, has actually increased bureaucracy. The only people who seem to be <laughs> enjoying this process are lawyers. And, uh, and I'm sure they're, they're raking it in while everybody else is uh, having a headache.